was he doing this back then, these freak-off sessions when you were security? Because I'm looking at this lawsuit, and that's what they were calling freak-off sessions when, you know, Cassie, she would have sex with the male prostitute while he will masturbate. Bruh, I can't say, because I can't say that. When I used to see him swing, it was always with him, another dude, and two girls. You know what I'm saying? When he was swinging with other people, you know what I'm saying? He always had other girls in the room or another guy in the room, even with his girl Kim, and he was swinging with her. So that freak off things, but him videotaping and everything like that, no, I can't say that I was privy, privy to that. But you knew what was going on, you know, uh, just when, just in the instant when people got it confused when I said uh, when he was in the room with Sarah and her girlfriend and he had Ja Rule and him in the room. Yo, I didn't know they was doing anything freaky until Ja came out and said, yo, y'all didn't want to be in there. Because there's a lot of freaky things going on. So, I guess that was one of those freak-off sections. <laughs> but other than that, I couldn't say anything. And you knew and Diddy. And at one point, you and him was real cool. Do you believe everything she's saying about these freak-off sessions? Listen, that girl went through some tumultual shit that she never thought that she would ever have to go through being in the music business. Do you understand that? I've I've been next to people who are top in the game, in the music business. And they have said to me, yo, I had to suck a lot of to get to this position. You understand? They have said that. So I can imagine what that little girl went through with old boy. She ain't lying that thing because if she would have lied, he would have fought her tooth and nail. He would have fought her tooth and nail, bruh. Don't get it messed up, Art. Uh, he would have fought her tooth and nail. That little girl ain't lied nothing that she ain't lied about none of that. Do you know what she's going through? Do you know what she's gonna go through for the rest of her life? Her kids gonna go back and see this on the internet. Right, right. And she also said in this lawsuit, man, that you know, Diddy, he, you know, he came off as a mentor, but later down the line he became too controlling. My position on him. He was never a father figure, bro. You understand? He was a groomer. He was a, he was, a, he was, he was an addict. He was somebody that was a, what you, what you call those? I, I, I've lost all of my terminologies <laughs> when I was working as a, a, a BCW, a, a child abuse worker, but. He was an individual that preyed on this young girl, using her dreams, her talents, holding it hostage for his own benefit. He groomed her. He wasn't no father. He wasn't no father figure to her, bruh. 